Moving on, scientists have sounded alarm over the new super mutant COVID strain. It has been called the worst ever mutation yet. It is said to have been detected in South Africa and has made its way to Botswana, Hong Kong and now as well. It is being reported that this mutant could make vaccines 40% less effective. Several European countries that are already battling a fourth wave have banned flights from six African nations. India too has flagged of concerns of the new variant. Will this new mutant make things worse for us? Take a look. It's not over yet. A new variant of COVID-19 is here. A worried South African government announced this on 25th November. From yesterday, indication came from our, our scientist uh, colleagues from the network for genomic uh, surveillance that indeed they were observing uh, what looked like a new variant, a mutation, uh, a variant uh, of uh, serious concern, which is now driving uh, this uh, uh, spike in numbers. The B11529 is the latest in the family of variants causing a spike in cases in South Africa. So what is the new variant all about? The new variant detected has high number of mutations, 32. Director of the UCL Genetics Institute in London, Francois Barlow, reportedly hinted in a press release that the new variant could have evolved during chronic infection in an immunocompromised person, possibly an untreated HIV AIDS patient. It can be detected with one particular type of RT-PCR test. B11529. So this is a variant that has been detected and reported to us uh, from our colleagues in South Africa. Um, there are fewer than 100 uh, full genome sequences that are available. We don't know very much about this yet. Um, what we do know is that this variant has a large number of mutations. Um, and the concern is that when you have so many mutations, it can have an impact on how the virus behaves. So right now, um, researchers are getting together um, to understand where these mutations are in the spike protein and the furin cleavage site and what that potentially may mean for our diagnostics, our therapeutics and our vaccines. The variant has spread from South Africa to Botswana all the way till Hong Kong. International governments have sounded alarm bells. The UK, Japan and Netherlands have halted flights from South Africa, Botswana, Eswatini, Lesotho, Namibia and Zimbabwe. Singapore, Italy and Israel have placed all of these nations plus Mozambique on their red list. The head of the European Commission, Ursula von der Leyen, is proposing the whole of EU put on emergency brakes and stop flights from the region. Germany, which is currently going through a fourth wave of infections because of the Delta variant, will allow only Germans to fly into Germany from South Africa. Even if travellers are fully vaccinated, they will have to spend 14 days in quarantine. India has also sounded an alert. The Union Health Ministry has dashed off a letter asking all states and union territories to subject all international travellers entering India from at-risk countries to rigorous screening and testing. The WHO has designated four variants of concern of COVID-19. Alpha or the UK variant, Beta or the South African variant, Gamma or the Brazil variant and Delta or the Indian variant. An emergency meeting called by the World Health Organization will decide the fate of this super variant or if countries must do more to restrict the spread of this new mutation. At the moment, the Indian government has not resorted to imposing an international travel ban on countries like South Africa and Botswana. But sources in the government have informed that India is already operating within air bubbles with various countries. The message is now clear that international travelling and passengers will be screened rigorously and their samples will be collected for genome sequencing at entry points because a new variant is out to create havoc. With Pavan Kumar in New Delhi, Milan Sharma for India Today.